Since fossil fuel combustion is the source of CO2 emissions that cause anthropogenic global warming, the companies and industries that are based on extraction, refining, and distribution of fossil fuels, coal, oil, and natural gas have the most to lose from the scientific consensus, and the most to gain from upsetting it. Science learned, about 30 to 40 years ago, that a civilization based on fossil fuel combustion is unsustainable. At that moment we reached a historic juncture. So far we have been standing at the crossroads. Or, to slightly strain the metaphor, traveling down the wrong highway. As our society grows wiser it is gradually becoming clear that we must change course. In particular, this means unavoidably, that we need to stop burning most fossil fuels. There's no other way. Carbon capture and sequestration is often touted as an alternative, but it is really not practical. The fossil fuel industry is incredibly wealthy and powerful, and it has been fighting with reality tooth and nail. But there are no two ways about it combustion-based power has got to go. Economically, this will be very disruptive, since millions of people make their livelihoods from the fossil fuel industry. But people will still need power that power will have to come from other sources. Old jobs will disappear and new ones will appear. This has happened throughout history, how many tailors, shoemakers, bakers or smiths do you know? So those erstwhile employees will find other jobs. Most of the pain will be felt by the higher ups the company owners and shareholders as their reason for being gradually disappears. Inconveniently, those are also the people with the most influence over the national conversation, and so they have become personally invested in dismantling the scientific theory that supports climate change. But as the world grows ever hotter, they must be realizing that they will fail. In the meantime they will enrich a great many mercenaries, in the form of lobbyists, marketers, and scientists, who will speak out against the consensus and instill doubt among the public. These folks generally have the most to gain from efforts to disprove climate change science.